I've decided to spend 12 days doing things I've never done before. Today, I'm running a marathon in a hotel. All right, we're started. My aim is to run every inch of this 12-storey chunk of honeycomb. That's right, every hall, stairwell, all the conference rooms, the lovely lobby, restaurants, even the pool deck. I'm gonna twist and turn and chalk up distance wherever the hell I can. Turns out I didn't need to bring my banana after all. This is the final day of 12 days of newness. Oh, the, the calm and the silence, it's kind of nice. And here I am putting sun, I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm putting sunscreen on in the hotel. I'm not gonna, I'm barely gonna leave the building. Jeez, this shit stinks already. <sighs> I haven't even bloody run yet. I've got some food I would never in my wildest dreams buy usually, some fake licorice chips and some trail mix, man. Shit, talk about have all your bits and pieces, Bo. There's a fair slice of me that can't believe I'm doing this. And I've got to tell you, this isn't a sponsored run. The hotel isn't paying me. OK, where's the stairwell? Nope, they simply said yes. Are you telling me, I'd said, you're willing to let me run around all the runnable bits of your hotel? Well, yes, sir. Try and be careful, and we'll be sure to tell the staff. You bloody beauty, I'd said. And then moments later thought, bugger. I now have to run a marathon around the hotel. <laughs> All right, I see the fun in this. I think they've seen the fun in this because I certainly have. This is where I'm actually giving a talk. This is why I'm in the hotel. Oh, shit, it's cold out here. Seattle. Oh, there's my first kilometre. Boom. It's a big air vent. It's a big air vent. I like this bit of artwork down here. I think it's beautiful. Oh, look at this. Got to focus on being bigger. I always wanted to be bigger. Look at that. Focus, focus. I'm in someone's workshop. You're doing a good job, folks. There's a lot of good thinking going on in this room, I can tell. Oh, look, someone's left some lollies. Oh, yeah. Mmm, little piggies. Look at this, I'm like foraging berries in the forest, you know? Mmm. Okay. Let me nice and quiet with the doors. Don't wake the patrons. Morning. Hello. Just saying hi. Good morning. How are you? I just got a high five from a guy in the hall. Okay, I don't want to alarm you. It appears I'm lost on the fourth floor. I can't find where uh, the staircase is. Come on, staircase. How does one lose the staircase? Ah, here we go. Okay, I found it. There was a lovely emergence of people as the fun progressed. G'day. Yeah, Thank you. Welcome to the hotel. That's fantastic. Fresh cologne and shampoo smells fill the halls. Good morning. Folks heading to the airport, Oop. or a work gig, or wherever it is they get their eggs exactly how they like. Stairs. Whoa. It's like Inception. I didn't expect that. I thought that was the floor, but it's a laundry room. You can get lost in here. This is my floor. I don't know what's going on. Whether you're talking about car racing or running, pit stops need to be efficient and get the job done. Quick glue break. This hotel marathon was no different. 
I needed to get back to the hallway as soon as I could. Getting rid of all the scuff marks. Oh no, a bit of plaster work. Yeah, right. Good. Oh, America's finest. Mmm. Oh, good morning, Madison. Hi. Oh, the good book. Good selection. If I was to design an airport, hospital or hotel, I'd design it to be runnable. Although when I think about this, most hotels are runnable with carpet that's like running on a golf course, wide promenades and well-designed flow where people find their way without having to ask. Hotels make for bloody good running. Holy guacamole! I don't know whether I recommend this. I feel eerily refreshed after that sauna. I was in the sauna for like 20 seconds and it's opened up my pores. Ah, oh, there's a shot for you. I feel like the, the hotel's got this gravity, I've got to be pulled back towards it. I feel like I'm cheating the system being out here. But I'm still within its wings, and it's been good so far. Haven't uh, seen anyone come out of the penthouse yet. I'm hoping Brad Pitt or someone's staying here. Hey Brad, come do a lap with me. Margo, Margo, fancy meeting you here. There's another Australian in the building. <laughs> come do a lap, Margo. Look at this dude, joining in. You wanna come inside and do some laps too, man? It was about now with perfect timing that I stumbled upon an unsanctioned aid station. Oh, I better get a pancake or two, hey? Sue, is it? Yes. Sue, this looks fantastic. Oh, thanks. <laughs> This is my halfway marathon food. So we're gonna eat and run, literally. Mm. Wow. Oatmeal, gee, look at that porridge. What we do? Oh, from the pool this morning. Were you in the pool this morning? Ah, oh, someone different. Who has porridge in the middle of a marathon? This chap does. How about that, eh, oatmeal? Oh, I feel like this is almost too far, broken my threshold. But for a blue Adirondack, did they steal my idea? I made one of these on TV and they thought, gee, that's a good idea, Bo. We'll do that as well. Oh, it's wet. That's quite wet. Ah, go with it. Jeez, what a view. Amazingly, it's about 10 kilometers up and back, a lap. The bottom three floors are weird. All these big cavernous spaces down below where everyone meets and eats. Four to nine are the same, and then 10 through to 12 are the same. So there's these different tiers. It gets smaller as you go up. Wow, there's the rooftop. Oh, it smells like bacon up here. Oh, a little dizzy. Imagining what's going on in the rooms. Hello. Oh, gee, that's louder than the stairwell, I tell you. Mm. I don't like a bit of a Pepsi and a Vaseline stop. Just preventative, nothing major. No big deal. My small slice of reluctance that I had at the start of the day had completely dissolved. 
Big buildings where people converge are immensely interesting. This was a hotel relationship of a different kind and it was very good fun. Do my own grand entrance. Morning, Steve. You know what? The novelty hasn't even worn off yet. This is just fantastic. I'm in a bloody hotel and I'm still having a good time. I've been here before. This ain't deja vu, this is, I was just here before. I think I can do it. We'll do one each. <laughs> there we go, oh, yes! Oh. It worked. That's great. Now you're turning, okay. All right, okay. Now you're You've set the precedent now. Okay. If I injure myself. <laughs> okay. Can we do a curl? Ooh, ooh, no, I can't do my left. I need to work on my left. Have a great day. See you, brother, here we go. I hear whispers that the CEO of a Swish company is about to give his opening address to his staff in the ballroom. Righto, as I've been given keys to the building today, I'll give him a visit. Well, look at this. Mood lighting. Folks are paying attention, it's a good sign. I tell you what, this might be a little awkward. There he is, the boss. Hello, mate. Holy moly, this is one tough crowd. I'd suck as a streaker. I'm getting donuts. No jeers, no laughing, no finger pointing. Wow, did that even happen? He didn't skip a beat. I just ran through 250 people and no one noticed. He didn't skip a beat. I assume you can eat the garnish. Can you eat these, John? You can. And you can put them behind your ear, and that's a great look. Oh, they taste fantastic. <laughs> All right, me old mate, level seven. That's right, back on my floor in the last few hundred metres of the marathon. Needless to say, this was another great day of newness. Novelty at every turn. The freedom of running in a place you wouldn't usually get the chance. And the beauty of the same space feeling slightly different every time I passed. It was a strange way to see Seattle, sure, but you know what? It was a great way to see the hotel. 751, 753, 755, 757. Stop. And with that, I'd finish the 12 days of newness. The end of another great experiment. Look at all this cool stuff I did on my awesome advent calendar. A weird kind of bucket list written on a piece of corrugated iron. I found that piece of iron on the side of the road, by the way, but that's another film altogether. So what's the point of this film series, Bo? I can safely say newness is limitless.